How do raindrops form? A small particle like a grain of dust becomes the nucleation center where water molecules come close together and as the size of the droplet increases, it falls because of the effect of gravity. What we had not known until now was what factors influence the growth of a droplet into a drop that would fall down as raindrops. Scientists have found that the turbulence inside the clouds is what contributes to the formation of raindrops. If you would have travelled in the air, then chances are high you would have experienced turbulence as the plane passes through the clouds. Turbulence is the disturbance that happens in the cloud because of the differences in the air temperature, pressure and velocity. What may appear to be a nuisance to us is something that makes life possible on our planet. Scientists use data obtained from a 2019 weather program in which a NASA flight flew through a cumulus cloud. Using this data, simulations were made. It was found that when turbulence was introduced in the simulation, then the amount of rain predicted to fall was larger as compared to without it. Also, the rain formed 20 minutes earlier when turbulence was present. Another essential compound for life is oxygen. We know oxygen is produced during photosynthesis as plants take up carbon dioxide and water. Scientists have now found what could be another natural process that can produce oxygen on our planet. While studying seafloor ecology in a region in the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and Mexico at clarion Clipperton zone, an area that is larger than India in size, oxygen is being produced at the ocean floor. No photosynthetic organisms were found in this place. They found polymetal nodules in this region which makes it as a potential mining site. When these nodules were tested in the lab by recreating the seafloor environment, oxygen was seen to be produced, but it stopped after some time. The scientists do not know how the polymetal nodules produce oxygen. They speculate that the nodules may be acting as a catalyst that causes breakdown of water molecules. It may take a while to understand this mystery, but for now, the scientists have cautioned to check for similar oxygen production before mining other underwater sites. They suggest that presence of oxygen in such large quantities would mean that the nearby life would be dependent on it. And so, let's not create another cause for losing our planet's biodiversity. The wildlife around us never seems to stop fascinating us. In a recent study, scientists have found that the teeth of Komodo dragons have iron deposited on its edges. Komodo dragons are the largest living reptiles on earth. They can tear apart birds and animals like deer, water buffalo and horses. By studying the teeth of a 15-year-old Komodo dragon named Ganus that lived in the London Zoo, scientists found that serrated edges of the teeth had iron coated on it. This explains the sharpness of their teeth, making it possible for them to tear and rip different types of large and small organisms. The scientists speculate that dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex may have used similar strategies to keep their teeth sharp. Although with the current technology, it is not possible to study the presence of iron traces on dinosaurs' teeth fossils, but by studying fossilized teeth of Komodo dragons, such techniques might be possible in the future.